Thank you very much to all of you this morning for putting your faith, your confidence in me to lead your association over the next two years. The responsibility of that decision, of that endorsement, is one that I feel the significance and the importance and the, the, the seared joy that I will have in executing the role of leadership, of ensuring that everything that I mentioned this morning, the themes of access, of equity, of ensuring that primary care and general practice are appropriately acknowledged, of ensuring that our AMA continues to grow in strength and in representation across our wide medical profession and in our health community continues. One thing I also will promise you now is the person that I was is the person that I will remain. Nothing will change in that regard. Your access to me, the person that I am, the loyalty, the, the dedication, the passion, and the downright somewhat, you know, backward steps at some time because I want to hear from you, I want to listen to you, I am ready to continue to listen as I said and your voices is what will keep me relevant in the time ahead to ensure advocate, that I advocate truly and effectively on your behalf to government and all other stakeholders who have an important role in the delivery of health care to our patients at this very crucial time. And I will do my utmost to ensure that health becomes the most important issue in the approaching health, uh, election campaign of, uh, confronting us in the time ahead. So thank you again for your support and your trust in me. <clears throat> Obviously, on a journey that finally brings you to this stage, there are a lot of people have, who have influenced me and who have been part of that journey to, to this point. To all the past presidents here in the audience this morning, my debt of gratitude for your leadership of our association at, over the, those years and the, inf the mentoring that you've even done subliminally and at a distance in preparing me for this role including my Victorian past presidents who I worked with and on the board at the various times in preparing me for state leadership, which was crucial to then the training ground to bring me to the role of vice president. To, to the board, to federal council, to all the various committees that we've worked together on over that journey, my sincere Franks, thanks for all your hard work, your commitment, your dedication, and the passion that you bring that makes me relevant here today. To the staff of our association, that all the hard working work that you do, I thank you sincerely, especially for the work that you've put in to support me over the last two years. And I promise you that I will continue to do my utmost to make our association proud and strong. And I look forward to working with all of you in the office over the next two years. To all the other staff and, and, and significant employees of the rest of our state and territory family of AMAs, the same thank you. We will continue to engage. We need to work together. We need to solve and strengthen our family of AMA and really make us a true fighting force in the years ahead. I wanted, shouldn't single out two people uh, in my uh, thank you, but I specifically need to thank Obviously, my partner Georgie, who is here today, who supported me in her time in allowing me to attend countless thousands of engagements, especially over the last two years. I know the next two years will be uh, a bit rough, uh, but, I, <laughs> <laughs> but I assure you, my commitment, my heart remains with you. To, to Mikesh, who's been a, a, a key mentor over the, over the years, especially at AMA Victoria, and then in the, in the role in preparation for the arduous, 
arduous campaign that was the, the last few months. My sincere thank you, and I really, really do appreciate all that you've done. Thank you. <laughs> to, to Gino and to Brad. You, we, um, we, we crossed paths on so many occasions in our travels over the, over the network in the last few months. The campaign was conducted in the utmost respect and friendship and a competitive rivalry, but the good humour that underpinned the association. This is what makes our association really strong, and it's people like you that, in the contest that was today, that make other people aspire to come to the role. So thank you for your, your friendship, for your leadership in your respective fields, and I look forward to your continued involvement in whatever part of the AMA it takes you in the years ahead. Thank you. And sorry, I know time's getting away, so the, the, la the last thank you will be obviously to my, our outgoing president, Michael. Michael, you've been... <laughs> Michael, the last two years have been a, a pleasure for me to watch you instantly grow into the role. I saw you grow weekly and, and, and strongly and forcefully advocating on behalf of all of our association. There were times where things got tough, but your resolve and your dedication, your tenacity, your commitment shone through. You always sought advice from people when things were needed to be sought, but you then were your own man and you made your own decisions. And for that, I respect you. And I really did feel that you set a nice, strong template for the, the, role, the way the role should be espoused. And I think the way that everyone has recognised your leadership and your two years in, in the position has been testimony to the person you are, the man you are, and I think Miriam and your family will be like really pleased to have you back uh, on, on a more regular, consistent basis, as will your patients and the babies you're about to deliver. Thank you. The last thing I need to do is to uh, present your past president's medal to you this morning and as an acknowledgement of that time in the position. Well done. And with that, I think I shall hand back over to our chair. Thank you very much.